A family tree represents so much more than history. Connecting your past grounds you in the present and allows you to envision your future. Get ready for a journey of personal discovery that begins with a new leaf. family tree for his school project. But Steve has more questions about his family history than he'd like. So we're going to help them as they start diving into their past. So Remy, what are you hoping to find out about your family? What are you really excited about? Um, I'm really excited to find out if I'm like an ancestor of people who are very historic and famous. And Steve, what are you hoping to learn for yourself? I'm curious about getting some answers to um, what is our background, and just kind of having something to pass down to future generations. What do you say we get started? Yeah, definitely, yeah. let's do it. Of I'm yeah. excited. Okay, take a look right there and explore a little bit. There's my parents, right? And right. there's my grandparents, your great-grandparents. So now if you keep looking down at your line there, uh -huh. there you can see your great-great Grandma and Grandfather, Thomas James. F. Plunkett. And he owned a, a cotton factory and he bought a farm. He actually was a really busy guy. He did a lot of things. He was a politician. Oh my goodness. Here you go. Look at this. Ran for lieutenant governor. Wow. You know, have you ever heard of the famous author Mark Twain? Yes. So it turns out that one of Plunkett's sons, your great-great-great-uncle, wrote a letter to him asking for a personalized autograph. Oh my goodness. My dearest Clemens autograph for a collection I am making. T.F. Plunkett, yeah. How is this stuff saved? So Remy, do you think maybe you would want to be an author? I don't know, what, no, I don't know yet. Well, I'm, I'm asking you that because the next relative, your great-great-great-grandma, Harriet M. Hodge, was a pioneer of the early hygiene movement. She wrote the book, Women, Plumbers, and Doctors, Household Sanitation, back in 1885. So she taught people how to keep your home mm -hmm. germ-free, to keep people from getting sure. sick in their homes. And, you know, that was the beginning of all of that. Kind of brilliant. Wow. What do you think, Ram? This is crazy. I'm learning way more. Than you thought you would yeah. learn? Yeah. Yeah. So now let's go back. Okay. Really way back. We're going back 400 years, okay? Whoa. Your 11 times great-grandfather, John Alden, he was on the Mayflower. Get out of here. Really? Yeah. How awesome is that? It's amazing. It's amazing that they made it. Now, Steve has a real understanding of his roots, and Remy has the branches and leaves he needs for the family tree he'll present to his family, friends, and teacher. Hey. Wow, it is a real party. Now, it's been an amazing journey that Daisy has guided us on. I can't wait to share some things with you folks. Okay, people, are you ready for the big reveal? Yeah! The Altus family tree. Wow, that's amazing. As constructed by Remy. When I showed my family tree to everyone, it felt so great, like they all clapped and cheered. They were very impressed. This fellow here, John Alden, he came to America on a pretty famous ship. Anybody have an idea what ship that might have been? Mayflower. Mayflower is right. Wow. Yeah. So we, we can trace our roots back to John Alden and the Mayflower. Thomas F. Plunkett. He was a politician. Yes. And he ran for, was it Lieutenant Governor? Yes. And now he was married to this woman. What's her name? Harriet M. Hodge. She wrote a book that was all about ways to clean your house. Cool. And, and you have me and your mom mm -hmm. right here. And who's this character down here? This is my brother. He is right there. Aww. Hi, Augie. Hi. And the family historian right here. <laughs> there it is. I am incredibly proud of what Remy has done on this project. Yeah, I'm very proud of myself for that. That's one of the best things I've ever created. And I'm proud of, like, everyone who helped me. We got to hear no. for, from your teacher. Wasn't he great? I thought 
he did an awesome job. He worked so hard on it. I'm giving it an A. Yay!